Alright yo, what is going on you guys? RGD Vlogs here, I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Today's video is going to be a Spooky Scary Saturdays video because it is Saturday. Yes sir, yes it is. Um, Before I even jump into this video, I just want to let you guys know that it is freaking 6.38 in the morning. I woke up five minutes ago, so what's up? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> if you do not know what Spooky Scary Saturday is, it's where I, co I watch... YouTube videos that are spooky scary and the reason I put air quotes there is because sometimes they're just straight up weird and uh like I don't know they're just weird this good but uh yeah that's all I really have to say so let's get on with the first video <laughs> Alright guys, so this first video is called Stairs Scary Story Animated and this was uploaded by Being Scared. So, hopefully this is a scary one. In 1984, there lived an old widowed lady by herself in a two-story house who was completely immobile and bound to her wheelchair. Ever since the mysterious death of her husband, she required the aid of a caregiver who would visit her daily to help her with everyday tasks. What made it even more difficult was the fact that the two floors of the house were only connected by an old staircase inside. When the old lady needed to move between the two, the caregiver would have to carry her frail body like an infant up and down the stairs. One day, the police received a call from the widow. There had been a murder. Since police units were scarce at the time, and the murderer had already fled the scene, only one detective was sent out to conduct the initial crime scene report. He arrived to see the caregiver's body splayed out on the floor with her vocal cords ripped out in a pool of blood Dang. on the first level of the house with the, the old lady cords? atop the staircase <laughs> in her wheelchair watching him still and silently, seemingly in shock. He could immediately rule her out as a suspect due to her inability to move up and down the stairs, and because she was trapped up there the time the murder took place. The detective put on gloves, took photos, swabbed for evidence, and covered the body until the coroner arrived later. All routine business. He scoped the house downstairs for any clues, then asked the old lady if he could look upstairs. She insisted that she was upstairs the whole time, and no one apart from her had been up there that day. But regardless of this, the detective ascended the staircase, to which she hesitantly moved aside. Beyond the staircase, there was a narrow corridor with three closed doors along it. He checked behind each of the doors. The empty bedroom, nothing. The bathroom, nothing. He became anxious as he slowly made his way to the final bedroom where the old lady slept. Yo, he she's looking it, a little suspicious. And everything looked normal. A bed, a wardrobe, and a bedside table with a lamp. He checked every wall of the room in horror, as it was not what he discovered, but it was what he didn't discover that made him stop dead in his tracks and slowly reached for his gun in its holster. It was a detail so minor that they had completely overlooked it on the last investigation of the husband's death. There was no phone upstairs. He suddenly heard a noise as he withdrew his gun and rushed out of the room, only to find an empty wheelchair Yo, atop the stairs. Yo, she could walk this whole time? That's on another level of psychopaths. She faked being paralyzed to murder people. Alright guys, so this next video is titled True Dark Web Horror Stories Animated and this was uploaded by Horror Shorts Party. Yes sir. True Dark Web Story. Deep web series too, man. Okay, we got some uh, Matrix stuff going on here. 
Terrence Nicholson. <laughs> this story happened to me on a Thursday night when I was home alone in my apartment complex. I lived with my roommate Josh, who was usually out with his girlfriend, so that gave me the luxury of having the place to myself. I was video chatting with three classmates of mine on Facebook Messenger. Their names were Eric, Craig, and Cindy. This was my first interaction with them as our professor selected us to be in a group project together. Throughout the night, we brainstormed ideas while getting more acquainted with one another. This is when the story gets a bit weird. Eric spontaneously asked the group chat, Hey guys, want to see something cool? What is it? Getting an A-plus on this project would be cool. Sure man, what's up? Eric sends the group chat a photo. I click the chat icon and see a disturbing image of a woman with her arms and legs missing. What the hell? Ew! Why are you sending us this? Dude, where the hell did you get that photo? I'll tell you, but you guys really need to keep this a secret. Promise me you won't tell anyone. Um, this isn't marketing related, but okay, I guess. Uh, sure, dude. Please don't tell me you were the sicko who took that pic. I didn't. I actually got the photo from the dark web. Dude, you go on the dark web? What's the dark web? Supposedly, it's this hidden part of the internet where you can buy illegal stuff. I personally wasn't that educated about the dark web, but I did hear rumors about it growing up. I've always acknowledged the existence of these kinds of things growing up, but I was still unaware as to what potential atrocities lie within the online world. Eric then says, Yeah, I just recently started getting into it. I found the photo from one of the forums I came across called Homemade Dolls. Here's the full-size picture. He then sends us the exact same photo, except this Doll time it had 20? a description box next to it with the title, Doll Number 20. Why the hell, of all people, did I have to be in a group project with this weirdo? The details in the description stated inhumane acts that can be performed on the victims before Remote being tongue? shipped to their buyers. I felt pretty disgusted reading the dialogue, but I was still somewhat skeptical about the whole thing. It was hard to deny its legitimacy, though. The authenticity of the image looked too real to be a hoax. To be honest, this looks photoshopped. I don't know. It looks pretty real to me. Dude, that's not go on sites like that. Well, I only go on it occasion- Midway through Eric's sentence, a random user joins Bro, the Bro, this is like that one movie. Uh, <laughs> who's that? I don't know. I swear to God, we better not be getting hacked. Eric, is this one of your stupid friends from the dark web? I'm gonna call the cops if it is. That's when I decide to move my mouse cursor to exit the video chat. Why the hell isn't this working? Come on, work, goddammit! My cursor was resisting to move no matter how many times I clicked or moved my mouse. That's when the random user's video turned on. It was a guy wearing a pig mask. Mm. The mask didn't look like some dollar store knockoff. It looked like the skin face of an actual pig. He wore it like he was Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hey, uh, is anybody seeing what I'm seeing? Eric, dude, I really hope this isn't a stupid prank. It's not, dude. I don't even know who that is. Why is there a guy wearing a pig mask on my screen? Guys, what's going on? I, I don't know why, but... Something about that moment, I just knew. I was looking into the eyes of what true evil looks like. That's when my classmate's video chat completely froze. The only screen functioning was the pigman's. It seemed like our computers were being hijacked. I couldn't quite comprehend what was going on till I heard the pigman say, Can you see me? Say yes if you can hear me. Say it! I replied Damn. with, yes, what, what do you want from me? In an uncontrollable stutter. You know that feeling you get when you're with someone for so long? Every single day just drags and becomes a routine. Well, I just want something new and fresh, you know? Something vibrant that will make me feel alive again. I just, I just need a new doll. <laughs> What do you say? Does it so sound like a brilliant plan to you? <laughs> I was completely appalled by what was transpiring. That's when I hear a muffled female's voice in the background. The pigman then swivels the camera towards the direction of the muffled voice, only to reveal a woman with no arms and legs. She had duct tape on her mouth and a chain bound around her neck. 
The woman was flailing her severed arms wildly in a desperate attempt to escape. A couple seconds later, the pig man approaches her while holding an axe, the kind of axe lumberjacks use to chop down trees. I began to hyperventilate as I knew the inevitable fate this woman was about to endure. He then raises the axe up in the air. I begin screaming from the top of my lungs, LEAVE HER ALONE OR I'M CALLING THE COPS! As I took my last glance at the woman, I realized that it was the same woman in the photo that Eric sent. That's when the pig man smashes the axe against the woman's skull repeatedly. I practically leap up from my chair and begin to vomit. This sadistic display was unbearable. What the hell is going on? Someone tell me I'm dreaming. There's, there's no way this is real. I look back on the screen, only to see nothing. Like the whole thing was just a bad dream, or a figment of my imagination. What the hell just happened? I know I'm not going crazy. I immediately messaged my classmates in the group chat saying, Please tell me you guys saw all of that. Did any of you see the pig man? We need to report him. Yeah, I briefly saw him, but then my video chat ended. Same here. That was weird as hell. Must have been a hacker. Thank god my screen went back to normal. Did you see anything, Terrence? I respond as nonchalantly as I can, saying, Yeah, b basically what you guys saw. I, I think it's best that we just put this behind us and move on from here, you know? I didn't know if that was the right decision. I just... I didn't want to further escalate the situation. Acknowledging the pig man's existence was one thing, but going into further detail about afterwards just felt unnecessary. This is the part where I wish the story ends. It's been a year since the incident. I ended up dropping out and taking the semester off due to the mental trauma I endured. I now work at a local retail store. I was coming home from work one day and I saw an envelope sitting in my mail slot. I open it and discover the most horrifying thing that sends shivers down my spine. It was a picture of my classmate, Cindy. Except she had no legs and no arms. The picture was titled Doll Number 21. That scream? I heard the pain in that scream. Terrence Nicholson is the best, bro. Alright guys, so this next video is not an animation. I know what it says, but it's not an animation. This is called Devil's Door, short horror film, and this was uploaded by Social House Films, not to be, um... Not to be uh, confused with the social house party or social horror party. I don't know what we just watched. <laughs> Oh, it's already starting. <laughs> Bruh. You're dead.
Nope. What's his name? Gavin? Yeah, he's gone. Let next lit. Head bashed in. Yep. Gavin's gone, bro. Rest in peace, Gavin. F in the chat. I hardly knew you, but you're gone. Brackets? No. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Like when they're just chilling next to a mirror. <laughs> That's good. You just happen to look at yourself. Thought he was dead. Demon dog. I'm not scared. That'd be funny. No, I didn't, but it would. It's not Gavin, bro. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Boring. Sounds dumb, or are you just too scared, brother? Oh, so you both have a death wish today. It's a good thing you just happened to sit next to a mirror there. What's her name? Laura? Laura? I wasn't paying it. Lights? God? <laughs> you could have told me the light was here, bro. Turn that on now. Yep. Bro, this is literally my, um... <laughs> Damn, that got me. Dude, that rattled me. I forgot I was gonna say now. Hey, there's someone behind you, bro. Dude, it doesn't help because the wind's blowing and like the window is like clanking. And I want to cry. <laughs> um, what's your guys' name? <laughs> Social House Films. Uh, they, I feel that was the first video I ever reacted to them. They, they better keep the same energy next time. <laughs>
Alright guys, so after that quick heart attack in that last video, we're gonna go to the very last video today. I only have four. I'm gonna be only having four for a while. I can't find anything else to make it five, but it's okay. Um, for this last video, this is titled Smiling Woman Short Horror Film, and this is uploaded by ACM Official, so I, ca I can't see. I'm blind. <laughs> Had to squint my eyes and shit. Bro, already? It's like they're keeping the same energy today, bro. That's how the last video was. Just started out already. Bro, who are you? I mean, I, I have. I don't. I can't hit a, a lady, but if you're gonna be staring at me like that. Might have the box. <laughs> I'm gonna keep disappearing like a Casper. Got that teleportation powers. Dude, these freaking sounds. Can I help you? No, you don't talk to her, bro. Ugh. Smiling with their whole teeth. Nobody does that. Let's go. What do you want? Ugh, what the f Bro, why are you walking like you're crippled? <laughs> oh my god. This, this is like not even scary anymore at this point, bro. A little loud though. Oh. oh, there's a smiling woman 2 and 3. We might have to add that to the playlist. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this Spooky Scary Saturdays. I got scared in the third video. And almost the, this last video until she started doing the crip walk. And... <laughs> Bro, that was, they, she made it's they that was like uh trying to look scary but on a budget. That's <laughs> good. She's just good. But um, uh, watch me have nightmares about that now. That's <laughs> good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Not already done so. Have a great day. Hopefully, it made yours. If today was your birthday, then have a happy birthday and peace out. Bye. Bye.